because I spoke to multiple people over the last couple of weeks, and we, I've seen this for the last 10 years that I've been doing this stuff. But a lot of times, people get so caught up, people get so caught up in the good old scale. And I hate the scale, because a lot of times, we're sitting here, what you just said, I get discouraged, I jump on the scale, I get discouraged, right? And you can get in your head, a lot of times we play pencil games with you, so a lot of times in our program, we have you weigh in the first week. But what I found, is some of you are weighing in like every day, twice a day, five times, taking a scale at work in the car, what are y'all doing? That was not in the game plan. Now, I'm telling you that because what happened is I haven't seen too many things become such a hindrance in people that are trying to lose weight in this thing right here. I'm telling you, people wait every day, they start to get discouraged because they don't see, oh my gosh, I lost a pound a week, two pounds, this and that. And here's the thing, a lot of the science behind it, I'm going to tell you a great story before we have fun here, but a lot of science behind it is the first about 10 days you start a new exercise program, especially for female. Now this is like proven scientific stuff, I'm not just throwing some at you. You're going to put on some muscle mass. Guaranteed. Now a woman, you can only put on so much lean muscle, but you're going to put on some muscle mass. So muscle weighs. So what happens to the scale? It goes up. A lot of times women say, oh my gosh, what is this guy saying, Coach JC? You're a scam. You told me I was going to lose weight. Now, this is what Jennifer said. She came to us, our boot camp tools program, first month, put on five pounds. Cranking it out, and she was there five days a week just doing hardcore, awesome, awesome, follow nutrition, put on five pounds. Comes to me, she's like, I don't know if this is for me. I said, what's up? I put on five pounds, which I said, all right, stick with it. It was like three, three weeks. We tweaked her nutrition just slightly. All right, I told her, get away from the scale. I don't want you weighing in every day. She was weighing in twice, three times a day. Her husband said, she's like psychotic over this thing. I was like, JC, I don't know what you're doing, but I can't take this any longer. Like, I'm removing scales from her house and throwing them away. So, I'm serious, it's become like a huge, huge hindrance in her getting her to lose weight. But, I said, stick with the thing, let's make sure you're following the plan, it's going to work. Here, and I went to the science with her, here's why you're putting on muscle mass, here's what's going on. You know what happened? She stuck to the game plan. That next week, she dropped seven pounds. Okay? She's now 22 pounds lighter. She's been with us for Joe. Joey, how long has Jennifer been with us? Estrada. Two years now? Two years with us. Rock star. She can set records in what we do. Exercise, it does not matter. She's not like that she can. But she finally reached, reached the goals that she desired. Now, how many people go through our program, never say a word, and just quit and give up? If I never said to Jennifer, how are you feeling? What's going on? How many people that are not in this room tonight, I didn't lose a pound the first week. I didn't lose five pounds. They're not here because of that. That's not how life works, that's not how weight loss works. You have hormones, you have things that affect you losing weight in a positive or negative way, and you have to treat those things. That's what we're doing. If you follow the 10 habits of success in nutrition, if you follow the workouts, it works. So I need you to make a commitment with me tonight. I need three people in this room that can say, like Cynthia, the scale has been a hindrance for me the last four weeks. I've become addicted to this thing. I'm weighing in every day. Uh, it's just mentally, it's, it's, it's on me. Give me three people right now that can say that. Or have never said that in your life. Get up here. Come on, get up here. We're going to do something. Come on, we're going to do something. And here's what I want you to do with your scale when you get home. <laughs> some, of you, some of you, here's what happens. You throw it out, and then your husband goes to bed, you go and get it out of the garbage can. Like Jennifer. Or, you throw it off the second floor, it drops, and you go down and you put it back together, it still works just enough so you can step on it and get it. So I'm going to show you, Betty, I want you to come up here. Well, now you should kick butt first. Gloria, I want you to step back here so you don't give anything. Now, this is a sledgehammer. So we're going to be very careful here. Here's all you're going to do. You're just going to raise up like this. Nothing fancy. You're just going to go down. You're going to beat this scale. Yeah, just one time. Hard. All right? Don't hit me. All right? Here we go. Go, girl! Here, choke up just a little. Choke up right here. You're just going to go down and hit that thing. Yep. Oh, whoa, 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 be careful. 
Alright? 